Welcome to Sethcraft. In a previous video, I built this CNC enclosure for my Shapoko Pro XXL. Well, I didn't quite have the machine up and running yet, and so having used the machine for a couple of weeks, I had to make some pretty serious modifications to my enclosure, and I wanted to bring you along for that. Also, I finished getting my dust collection system installed, and it is working fantastic. Starting here on the front, you can see I have the door up currently, and the enclosure has been slid back to the open position. So over here, I've got my uh, pass-through. So this little piece right here, I'll have available for sale in the description down below. It basically allows me to pass the uh, dust collection hose through my plywood, and that goes down to my dust collecting bucket here. Um, but we'll get to that in just a moment. So as far as the enclosure goes, the previous build that I had went from this height right here down to this right here. And there just was not enough room for my dust collection hose to pass through. So uh, basically this level right here was right at this level and it just could not uh, go over itself right there. So I have increased the height of the cabinet by two two by fours or seven inches right there. And that has been all that I've needed. You can see there's also extra room here in the front. Uh, because I lifted everything up, my foam panels were higher now. And that meant that the machine could be pushed all the way to the back which actually has been very beneficial because the dust collector up here is within about a half inch from hitting the front of the box there. Uh, so that has worked out well. I don't remember if I had these lights installed previously, but they are also doing quite well. And uh, to control that, I've got this switch over here. I can just flip this turn those on or off and uh, also my dust collector is right here as well um, so uh, that's what the uh, main difference is on the enclosure itself I've also got the plywood up here and on the back as you can see so now when I move this out it uh, is much higher so let me show you how this closes real quick in order to close the enclosure I grab both sides and pull it does have some wheels on there with drawer slides to make that process smooth and easy. Once it gets almost all the way out, I can then grab the door here and pull this down. Now I'm going to have some little clips that will hold the door closed all the time, but for now it's just kind of closed by gravity. Uh, so it will make a tighter seal here in the future. So uh, that's what it looks like currently with the door closed. It makes a good bit of difference with the sound and also I feel better having bits spinning around in there not to uh, fly out into my room. The plexiglass worked out well for both the side and the front here. You can see in there quite nicely. Uh, I do have some microfiber cloths that can be used to clean the window if need be. Um, but that lets me see the machine running while I have uh, the enclosure closed here. Let's talk about the dust extraction tube that I have in here. So I was trying to find a way to get the tube to stay in the front of the router and still be allowed to rotate all around in this limited height space here. And here's what I came up with. I've got a new product that I'll have available in the description down below. It is this little saddle right here. So essentially, this fits on top of the stepper motor. It's got a clip here that will hold the hose and also this Velcro to make sure that it doesn't come out. So you can uh, place that on top of the stepper motor and it will keep the uh, dust collection pipe facing up where it needs to. Let me zoom in here so you can see what it looks like. So I've already got one here on the machine and it fits on top of that stepper motor. And uh, like I said, it holds the tube up here, has Velcro to make sure it doesn't come out, and it just simply rests down on that stepper motor and keeps this right where it needs to, right up and down. So that means if I were to uh, jog the machine around, so let me jog around and you can see how this orientation right here in front of the machine allows it to go anywhere in here 
and not uh, interfere with this part of the tube right here. As you can see, the way it's oriented right here and the way I have it clamped right in the middle of my enclosure, this tube can go anywhere in this box and not uh, bind up. So it is working very well. Uh, if you're interested in this and you've got the Shapoko Pro XXL or any of the Shapoko that has this size uh, stepper motor, then I'll have this product in linked down below. Um, also, I'm including a couple of these uh, two and a half inch hose connectors uh, that I used up here um, with this piece. So check that out if you uh, need to keep your dust collector hose uh, stationary here on an enclosure. The dust travels up this tube right here, goes around, goes to the pass-through, which I'll also have linked down below, and then it goes down here to my dust collecting spin-down bucket. So. Basically, this is going to allow the dust from the CNC to spin down into the bucket and not continue into the shop vac, which is right in here. So let's go ahead and pop this lid. I'm actually kind of curious to see how much this is filled up after a couple of uses. There you go. Some very, very fine dust. All right, so let's go ahead and close that back up. It seems to be working well. I'm glad that I uh, got this bucket. Um, the way the hose was trying to connect, I also used two more of my pass-through components here, here and here, um, to connect to the bucket. And then I used a fourth one to pass through this cabinet as well. So if you look right down in here, you can see that it's got the uh, pass-through. So essentially all that is, is a flange that uh, bolts to the side of the plywood and then the tube goes through it and makes a good solid connection there and uh, yeah also I, I include the screws with that and the pass-through piece as well link in the description all right so uh, here we have my little box that I built for the shop vac and it seems to be doing quite well so I have been keeping this slightly open just because it lets in a little bit of cool air um, but so the air goes in from down there and then it goes into the box and passes out right here uh, it's kind of hard to see but there is an opening and so that basically causes the wind in here to come out the back side of the shop vac have to go up over and out the box over on this side so it kind of slows down the sound a little bit uh, let's go ahead and test that out so you can hear the difference on camera. In order to turn on my dust collector, I flip the switch right here. And there we have it. The improvements I've made over the previous video are increasing the height here so that the dust collection system will work. And I also got the uh, spin down and my little box for the shop vac as well. So uh, if you want to check out those two products that I'm making, I'll have those in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.